Hello, I'm Hot Rod. And these are my friends. Percy! Hello! And Beverly! They're the versions from TF Rollout. Right, Hot Rod? Company called Takara. Sadly, by 1987, after the free part of the rebirth, the Transformers cartoon got cancelled. In, in Japan, they conclude the Transformers storyline in the form of anime. At the same time, they re-released the G1 cartoon with edit on live action segments during the late 80s to early 90s. They create new things to the toy line. Pretenders, which are Transformers in EXO shows, look like humans, monsters, and aliens. And the Action Makers, which temporarily got rid of the transforming method. It failed. In the 90s, they re-released the toy line under a new name, Transformers Generation 2, and the G1 cartoon got re-released once more with CGI cutaways added. By 1996, both Japan and the U.S. created a new breed of Transformers which <coughs> that can turn into animals called Beast Wars, which also got a CGI cartoon. That's also popular. Later on, they added new Beast Wars toys called Fuse or Transmetals 1 and 2 by 1999. The Beast Wars cartoon ended as well as the toy line. One last attempt to keep Beast Wars alive was to reformat the Master Wolves for a new toy line and cartoon show called Beast Machine, which lasted two seasons. In 2000, we what we brought back the two, the Yahoo bots and the subscribers from the 2000s from today. There are brand new animated cartoons and toy lines for transformers like Robots in Disguise 2001, Armada. Energon, Cybertron, Animated Prime, Robots of the Skies 2017, first and recent Earthspark. Thanks to the original cartoon, we get to have new generations for of kids to fulfill the franchise. Thanks to the rest of that started it all. Right, Hot Rod? Can we have some cake? No, Blur. This cake is rented. Besides, if we cut it, we'll have to pay for it.